what's up y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel make sure you like comment, subscribe on the video because why wouldn't you anyway y'all i need to come on here and ask a few questions why on heaven's earth why on heaven's earth do people need to have a whole interview a job interview a job interview when you call around asking about a job the first thing they want to holler is a job interview who in the heck want to go sit down at a job interview like either you're hiring or you ain't hiring i am so sick and tired of them talking about some um what are your interests um do you have experience um what kind of drawers do you got on? That's what y'all might as well be saying. Y'all be asking some of the stupidest stuff at the job interview that ain't even going to be relevant to the job, okay? Like, I don't want to hear it. Then some of the jobs want you to go take a drug test. Do it looks like I'm on drugs? Does it look like I've been smoking anything? It looked like I should have smoked something to put up with y'all in all these dumb questions when I come over here. Y'all asking a bunch of stuff that don't have nothing to do with the job that I'm going to be doing. So you telling me if I'm making french fries at McDonald's, I need to have a degree? If you telling me that I'm standing on the loudspeaker or whatever y'all want to call that thing at the restaurant, asking how can I help you, and I'm punching a picture of a hamburger, a picture of some french fries, a picture of some god dang on mustard, I need to have an interview. What is the relevance in that? I never understood that. Y'all asking me, okay, say for instance, I want to work at Ross. Y'all asking me questions about shit I would be doing at Burger King. What do that fast food stuff? Have you ever worked in fast food? I am applying at Ross. Do Ross sell food? Well, fast food. So why are you asking me questions like this? I don't understand. Y'all people at these job interviews, y'all need to put yourself in other people's shoes. Y'all need to put yourself in other people's shoes and be like, Okay, well, I know this lady must need a job. She's 51. She can't hardly walk when she came in here. Lady, if I'm walking in here on my bad back, my legs that need a steroid shot in them just to make a move, do y'all honestly think I want to come here and be asked all these questions like I'm being interrogated at the police department? And all the stuff you asking me. Are you abiding by all of that? Have you done all of what you asking me? Let me think. One of them interviews going to sit up and ask me. Do I have a guard card? This was at Burlington. They going to ask me, do I have a guard card? Do I look like a guard? Can I chase anybody for selling y'all product? What I'm gonna do? Roll around on the scooter chasing the people? Lean over on the basket pushing it through y'all store? What do y'all want me to do? I signed them to sit at the fitting room. Sit at the fitting room. You're gonna ask me, do I have a guard card? And I told that woman, I've never heard of a guard card until you just said it just now and explained what it was. I'm only here to sit down, pass people numbers when they want to go in the fitting room and take their clothes and hang them on a rack when they come out. That's it. That's all I want to do. I done worked my whole entire life. I cannot do anything more or anything less. Let me figure out what else y'all be doing at the job interview. Y'all love saying, do you have any cooking experience? I did not ask to come in here and cook. I don't cook in my own house. What makes y'all think I want to come cook up here at y'all restaurant? I ask for the simplest things when I go places. Front desk. Let me be the person that pass the people their menus when they walk in. Simple stuff. I'm not asking y'all for all that other stuff. This is just crazy. Apply that pet smart. She gonna ask me, am I dog and cat friendly? What the f do that mean? And I have cats and dogs that are friends of mine. What does that mean? How do you make friends with a dog or a cat? I don't understand that. She gonna ask me, am I pet 
friendly, dog and cat friendly. Now, am I supposed to go around in my neighborhood and make friends with all the animals? What does she exactly mean? Because I don't get it. Somebody would literally have to explain this to me. What else that woman asked me? Am I allergic to dogs and cats? And I'm like, well, how would I know if I don't have a dog or a cat? How do I know if I'm allergic to them? We'll find that out when you hire me and I come in here and start sneezing and stuff, okay? That's how we're gonna find out if I'm allergic to dogs and cats. She gonna ask me, am I scared to pick up the turtles and all of that? Lady, why would I wanna pick up a turtle? That's all I wanna, why would I wanna pick up a turtle? I want to work at your front cash register. I'm gonna require a stool to sit on. My back does not stand long. Y'all say y'all accommodate the disabled, but now you want me to pick up a turtle. I'm not touching no turtle because for number one, I would have to be constantly washing my hands at the, every time I pick the turtle up and I eat snacks. I keep snacks in my pocket so I can continuously keep getting snacks so I can stay woke on your job. If I don't eat, cause I don't go to bed at the three, four, five o'clock in the morning. So I'm definitely gonna be sleepy at work. Okay, I'm going to be sleepy. I'm telling y'all this in advance. That's one of my disabilities. I cannot sleep at night. I'm going to be sleepy. But no, I'm not picking up a turtle because I'm not washing my hands every few minutes because I have to eat snacks to stay awake. Now, I'm trying to work with y'all. I'm gonna need y'all to work with me. What else do y'all have in the building that I could do? I went to apply at a daycare center. All I did was say it. I would like to check the children in and out when their parents drop them off and pick them back up. That requires me to sit down. Remember I said I had to stay seated. She gonna ask me, do I have daycare experience? Do I have experience with changing pampers and different things? I said, oh, I got to change their pamper when they come in the door or going out the door? And yes, I have experience. I have seven children, but I didn't sign up to change no diapers. I've been doing that shit for too long. I'm not changing no more diapers. I'm done with that. She gonna say, but if we need you in a different area of the daycare, I don't feel like hearing all that screaming and crying. I'm not coming to work no other place. Front desk, whatever happens behind them doors after that is beyond my control. I'm only working the front desk. That's it, y'all, for this video. I'm done talking. I, I done got irritated and worked up. I done been working too hard.